Good morning. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I've just been cleaning this window, which actually looks so much better now. Look, it's sparkling clean. Doesn't it look lovely? And I painted around the edge again. Um, a little snaggy job for the new year. We don't have any cork. So we've got to get some cork and fill these edges because they look horrendous. Um, some of it worked with paint, like some of this worked with paint, but um, yeah, that's one small snagging job. Another small snagging job for the new year. Where the lights were fitted before, look at these are an up close of our lovely lights. There was like two, what are they called? Those little screw hole things. It's the things like that a, hold the screw in. It's like a plasterboard fixing. Yeah, I, 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 as I was painting, I was like, oh Alex, you forgot to take these out. So they're still there and they look horrendous now there's a light like, lighting them up. Yeah, with the light on it, it looks way worse than it did. It's supposed to look more like that where there's nothing there because we removed them from um, these two. You can see they're not, not there, so. Whoever like skim plasterboard of this wall. Not You've already said this, but it's probably just because it's an old wall. I don't think it is that old. Okay. But it looks our, like it's been DIY'd. Our whole hallway will need to be replastered yeah. and our bathroom, probably the whole of the upstairs because it's so badly done. Anyway, that's another another story. Um, <laughs> this room's just about okay, adds to the character. But yeah, we've I've touched up all the skirting. Oh, I just realised I need to do another coat on the skirting. <gasps> oh, it won't take me very long. Because um, I was a bit dumb. So when you oil a floor, oil gets all over the skirting and without even thinking i think it's because it's early i just started painting to cover up the oil when you're I, when i did it last time i cleaned the oil off first and then painted which meant it only required like one coat of paint because you could barely see the oil by the time i painted over it but i forgot to clean it off so it's really visible still so i'm gonna have to go over the bits that are visible oh well that shouldn't take too long look at art it looks like a painting i bought this off etsy this one, I'll um, link it below. But yeah, that's it done. We can now move in once I've done the skirting and we can clean. I think I'll get Alex to clean the shelves while I'm doing the skirting. <laughs> Including that. A beautiful rug to cover our beautiful new floor. We just realised it kind of interrupts the door. Didn't think about that when we went. Ah, it's okay. If anything, it's going to act as a door stop. Because yeah. this door flies open on its own. Yeah, okay. It's fine. I'm still undecided about painting this door. Leave me a vote below. Get out of here, Al. <laughs> Do I paint the door or not? <laughs> Do I paint this door or not? Part of me thinks it's kind of cool that it's all raw, but because um, the other ones are painted, like, hello, <laughs> like this one, I feel like in the hallway it won't match. I don't know, something for another day. But voila, it's so, so cushiony and soft. It feels so plush. I need to pull it a little bit back. It's getting in the way of the wood burner a tad. Oh. Gorge. Works well with the green. Hiya. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, chat. Reggie. He's so cute. Look at his head. What are you doing? What are you doing, Reggie? Hiya. Yeah. Just like that, we've got some of our main bits of furniture in the room, modelled by Rosie, our new tables, which look glorious. Obviously, this is all going to change because we're not keeping this furniture. We love this furniture so much, but um, let me try and show you. This sofa is like, I think it's like 110 or 120 centimetres deep, so it's like ultra, ultra deep. And then this, we push this back a bit further, but when the radiator's in, it won't be able to be that far back. It will have to be even more forwards. And then there's just such a small area in the middle to walk through, especially if you want to have a footstool. 
Um, sometimes I wonder if it comes across on camera as well as it does in real life, but you can see the width of the door and your path is kind of like this comes out so much and um, yeah, it'd have to come out even more once the radiator's there. Well, maybe not, but also I'm just not keen on covering up our beautiful radiator. <laughs> that was quite expensive, like I want it to be visible. Um, and this just, it's just too big. I never know, like I just said, I never know if these things come across on camera at all, but trust me when I say it. Um, so the sofa we're getting is virtually the same. It's just gonna be up to the, where the arm is here. So it will be this deep rather than that deep. I think we're gaining like 20 centimeters, which is quite a lot in a room like this. Um, it doesn't, basically it just doesn't have that sloped back that this has. It's a bit more upright. Um, and it doesn't have the back cushions. Ignore the pipes, but Alex has just put a wash on and our pipes make that noise every time. So it should come out probably back to here. And then we've got two armchairs. So the plan will be armchair, armchair. Um, so you can have a nice view of the window. Also when that love seat is there, whatever curtains we get, um, they need to close. So again, this would have to come a lot more forwards if we were to keep this. Um, and the curtains wouldn't be able to be closed, which was obviously defeat the object as well. So the armchairs that are coming are quite small and I'm wondering whether I will end up moving them into another room and getting different armchairs for here. They may end up in the garage, they may end up in a bedroom and we may get bigger armchairs, but they'll they'll do for now because they're not like cushiony, sofa-y armchairs. They're just like, they're more like bedroom chairs. Um, I'll show a picture. <laughs> Uh, so if I find that when we put them in, we're like, actually, we definitely could do with proper armchairs in here, then we can always try and find some other ones. Um, but yeah, it's just nice to have furniture in here. We're now debating whether to put the piano back in. Um, I think we should because the other armchair that we do have was when we got off Facebook Marketplace after we bought this sofa set and um, it matches, but kind of doesn't. And it, but it's really uncomfortable. We never use it. It's this ginormous armchair that is really dirty because Roxy jumps on it all the time. Uh, it's like her seat. So I don't really want to bring that into my lovely new room. And the chances of like however many of us at Christmas time all being in here all in one at one time is kind of small. There might be one evening that we do that and we watch a movie and realistically if that happens, probably one of us will just get a cushion and sit on the floor and that'll be fine or like lean up against the sofa and there'll be enough chairs if those chairs arrive before christmas there'll be one two three four five six seven and it'll be fine um so i think we should move the piano back because that's where the piano is going to go right there but yeah it's really cool to see it coming together piano is in that was quite the feat we've got all the main big pieces of furniture in i may ch change the layout i haven't actually like fully decided <laughs> these dogs are very hyper i haven't fully decided where everything's gonna go but it makes sense for me for the piano to go there just because it fits it perfectly we'll see it also looks kind of bare and weird at the moment because there's nothing in here but we need to put some pictures up i'm thinking maybe of finding a, a like an antique mirror to go there could look cool. Robbie's loving the <laughs> the carpet. <laughs> I cannot wait for curtains to be hung. <laughs> I cleaned up the curtain roll, curtain roll, curtain pole. Um, got all the paint off, and would you believe it is an exact match to the wall colour? Meant to be. Look at that, literally the same colour. <laughs> it's amazing. Looks so much better now, I've cleaned it. I hoarded my parents' um, house for books 
and it's barely even scratched the surface but I think that's quite exciting because it means that I have um, the opportunity to go out and get some cool books and expand my library. I want this to be like a library and I think it will hopefully encourage me to read more. I have a real issue with reading, like I love reading, but my brain never allows me to switch off to read and it's a New Year's resolution. I'm going to set myself a goal to read because I think it's actually something that I could do with. It's mindful and it slows me down. You may have noticed <laughs> I am always going and I need that time and I'm really looking for this room to be a space that I can come to that I feel relaxed and I can read and I can go and look through the books that my parents gave me because loads of them were I have to show you, they're so cute. So we've got some books here that my mum said that she grew up reading. We've got Winnie the Pooh, um, Daphne du Maurier, um, just loads of old books here that some of them I got because they looked cool, but some of them I actually want to read. All the pulled up books. These are all my books. So these are all of Alex's, um, well, these are my Harry Potters. I actually was gonna ask him, he needs to go get his Harry Potters so we can have both of them here. Um, but these are the books I got him every year. They're like illustrations of Harry Potter. And then um, his H.G. Wells. These are two stunning books. I really want to get a whole row of that kind of book. Over here, we've got more kind of like serious books, I guess. I haven't checked, but I think all of these are non-fiction books, including my book. Oh yes, look, my friend Jessica Rose Williams, she just released this book, Enough, um, all about simplifying your life. Um, so yeah, definitely check it out. I'll leave it below. Uh, she's a very, very good writer and a lovely person. She's also been doing Vlogmas, if you want a really relaxing Vlogmas. Um, books like Higa, this book, Consumed by Arja Baba. If you don't follow her already on Instagram, what are you doing? She is just the most inspirational, knowledgeable person and I haven't had the chance to read this book yet, so I'm really looking forward to it. It's all about fast fashion. Um, and as you can see, colonialism, climate change, and consumerism. So yeah, I don't know if the book is all about fast fashion, but she does talk about fashion and fast fashion and sustainability a lot. So yeah, I've got loads of books like The School of Life, Eating Animals, A Terrible Thing to Waste, Utopia. So yeah, loads of more educational books, I would say. These are some atlases, which again, I'd quite like to build up a collection of um, atlases and maps and have them all in here. This cool book, The Photography of Rock. My parents wanted me to get rid of this and I just thought, this is so beautiful. Um, what a great coffee table book. I think when we get our poof, or when we get our footstool for the middle of the room, this is gonna live proudly on there. My mum also gave me these sort of bits of glassware. So we've got some candlesticks a little vase, another little vase. So it's definitely a work in progress, but look how cool, like we've actually got bookshelves with books in them. And the green, I just think makes the books pop. Definitely over Christmas, over the new year, I will be going to some charity shops, secondhand shops, and just gathering lots of lovely books and knickknacks to fill the shelves with, because I think that's gonna feel really cozy and lovely and warm when you come in the room. Look at that, yay. <laughs> I used to have way more book of my book, um, but I've slowly like given them away when people come over. So I'm going to buy some more of my books so I can have a little stack. First I was like, oh my God, I should have a whole shelf of my book. And then I thought that's gonna cost me so much money. So I'm not gonna do that because there would be like, how many books is that? Like 25 books. I'm not about to spend a few hundred pounds on my own book. So um, I think I'm gonna just order maybe like five and then I can have like a nice little stack and then maybe put a few things on that shelf just as a little proud of me <laughs> moment. I've just brought a lamp from upstairs down which is just creating the most cozy little corner. I definitely need to buy some more lamps but look how lovely that looks. It just looks so lovely. I'm beginning to feel very happy about all of this. I need to buy some lamps. I'm gonna go on eBay this evening and see if I can find some lamps and order some lamp shades because we need a lamp for this table in the corner. This is our little parlor table and I figure if we need to um, use it, we can just move the lamp onto the window because it's not gonna be something that we use every day. It'll be something that we use probably like once a month, once a fortnight if people are coming over so we can just move the lamp 
and pull the table out but how cute would it be in the corner if there's a nice lamp like a big one with a few other things on that table because right now it looks a bit dull and then I think we need a picture or two above it um, that's the thing I also want to do in this room is I want to over time collect art for the room I am thinking that a big mirror here would look really lovely because it's opposite the window and there are a few on Facebook Marketplace that I like the look of and I just think it would work really well in the room. Um, it would also balance out, I feel like, this massive picture. I would think about getting a massive painting, but they're so expensive. We've already spent enough money. <laughs> we need a painting above here. I don't have anything big enough. Um, so I think that's going to have to be confirmed to be to be seen. Um, and yeah, I feel like if we had, I'm thinking, big mirror here maybe um oh it's going out of focus maybe a really small little painting here you know those kind of cute little very very tiny ones over here i feel like one painting that will fit that space um maybe leave this blank because there'll be a picture there and then a painting here below or i don't know maybe that's the last thing i feel like i don't want to rush that but for now definitely something here that's quite large definitely something there definitely something there and then the rest we'll see i do have these paintings you may recognize these from our old living room so there's this one the only thing about this one is it is quite small so i'm not sure where that would fit this one that you saw that i bought off facebook marketplace recently this one could work over the piano my parents are coming over in a minute to help me so maybe we'll talk to them and this one i'm thinking maybe this would work behind here but it might not be big enough, but I'm going to see. Let me just hold it up, actually. What do you think, Reg? Do you think this could work here? Yeah. I think that would work, especially if you have a lamp. Yeah, so I'm going to leave that there. Also, when the curtains are in, it's going to make a massive difference. Because right now, it feels very bare, but they're going to be really, really massive, plump curtains probably won't end up doing pictures there then because there'll be big plump curtains on either side of the window i don't like having lots of things on window sills because i feel like it looks cluttered so the most i think that i will ever put there is flowers i think flowers always look lovely in windows because then when you're outside you can look in and also very excitingly tomorrow we can put the christmas tree right there perfect spot for it so you can see it when you're outside and I'm just so excited we can actually finally put the Christmas tree up. Loads of you in the other video thought that I meant that I we were getting rid of the Christmas tree. Lots of you were like, oh my gosh, what a waste. You should give it to someone else. We're not getting rid of the Christmas tree. It's outside. It's in a bucket of water. Don't worry. We're going to be putting the Christmas tree up. We just haven't had the time to do it. So it will be going up tomorrow. Do not fear. <laughs> Alex got the goods. He went and got us some dominoes. I never normally like dominoes, but we've got the vegan combo. So chips, chicken nuggets, and the pizza. This is vegan chicken. I'm so excited. I can't believe you were the one to suggest it. I don't like dominoes, but today I like dominoes. Mm. 